Fox News alert. Today marks the deadline that top House Republicans gave the Justice Department to turn over all documents requested by congressional investigators. House Speaker Paul Ryan slamming the DOJ yesterday for their failure to comply with the subpoena. They could have spared the country a whole bunch of drama if they would have complied with these document requests months ago when they were made in the first place. But a senior DOJ official tells Fox News, quote, last Friday, we agreed to provide specific documents by Friday or explain why we couldn't. That process is underway, including delivery of many of the requested documents yesterday and today. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is live in Washington with the latest. Catherine. Well, thanks, Melissa. Fox News is told the Justice Department has produced more records this week, but right now it still falls short of the congressional subpoenas. In the meantime, we're learning more information about that key meeting last Friday involving the House Speaker, FBI Director, and Deputy Attorney General, as well as the three House Committee Chairmen. Two sources tell Fox News that the FBI Director and Deputy Attorney General were given three days from that Friday by House Republicans to hand over records about intelligence activities and the FBI's alleged use of confidential sources prior to July 31st, 2016. And that's a key date because it's when the FBI officially opened the Russia collusion investigation. With that deadline missed and a looming deadline today for the remaining records under subpoena, the House Speaker, as you just heard him say, did not take contempt off the table. Here's House Speaker Ryan. I am supportive of, of making sure we get the documents we rightly deserve, that we legitimately requested. We expect compliance. Um, I'm still getting daily reports from our committee chairs about the, the, the progress on compliance. Multiple sources described to Fox News that last Friday's meeting, it was rare, impactful, because new information came to light about intelligence activities, and this is the key thing, Melissa, appear to shift the timeline earlier than July 31st, 2016. And they said Congressman Gowdy's outspoken statements on Fox News Sunday reflected that new information. Paul made it very clear there's going to be action on the floor of the House this week if the FBI and DOJ do not comply with our subpoena request. So, Rod Rosenstein, Chris Ray, you were in the meeting. You understood him just as clearly as I did. We're going to get compliance, or the House of Representatives is going to use its full arsenal of constitutional weapons to gain compliance. I just want to draw your attention to a key line from that Justice Department official's statement. They said that if the records are not provided, they will explain to the congressional committees why they are refusing to comply with the congressional subpoenas. And based on our reporting today, we think that's going to take the form of a letter maybe later today, Melissa.